Oh, say can you seed. A book by Bonnie Worth, illustrated by Katie DeMent, Cranky Style. I'm the cat in the hat, and I think you need to come take a look at this thing called a seed. From the giant gum tree to the very small weed, every flowering plant started out as a seed. Plants are so useful to you, to me and to you. Can you think of the ways? I will name just a few. The paper from books and the cloth for your pants come from trees and from cotton. That's two kinds of plants. The grains and the fruit and the veggies you eat, they all come from plants too. And here's something neat. In the deserts and woods and the rainforest thick, grow plants that make you feel well when you are sick. Yes. Plants serve us well and fill so many needs. And flowering plants all started out as seeds. Just what is a seed, are you wondering? Maybe? Well, your seed, you might say a seed is a tiny plant baby. Like all seeds, a bean comes in three basic parts. Thing one and thing two. Bring on the charts. Part one is the first that I think you should know. It's the part that's the baby. It's called embryo. To sprout, it needs food like you and I do, which brings us to seed part numero two. Cotyledon. It's called cotyledon. Say, isn't this fun? The bead seed has two, but some seeds have one. Last comes the third part that you need to know. It's the coat that protects our cute seed embryo. To, to sprout a bean seed, keep it moist but not wet. Keep it covered with dirt and then see what you get. In seven or so days comes the part that I love. A root spreads from below and a stem shoots from above. What? Now, in order to show a grown bean plant to you, we've traveled in time. Some months, maybe two. These are the parts of a bean plant. The stem, the flower, the leaves, the bean or the fruit. This is the shoot system. To get a good look at roots underground, it is better to make like a mole I have found. Roots anchor the plant and help it stand true. Roots suck up the water and minerals too. And roots keep the soil just from just washing away. That's pretty important now, wouldn't you say? So we've talked about roots and we've learned about them. Now it's time that you moved on up to the stem. The stem is a pipe through which water shoots. Um, it's absorbed from the soil and passed up through the roots. Leaves come in all shapes and sizes I've found. Some small, some spiky, some big, some round. I'll say this quite loudly, I don't mean to be rude, plants are the only living thing on earth that make their own food. 
What is it called? Photosynthesis. So the leaf takes in CO2 through stoma and pore. It works like a mouth. That's what it's for. Oxygen, CO2. When air gets mixed in with the water and sun, that's how the food making factory is begun. Is run. So as here is a chart, I will share it with you. It shows the parts of a flower and all that they do. Pollen, petals, stamen, filaments, pollen tubes, oval, stigma, style, pistol. We'll look at flowers more later. In the piston are ovals. They're unfertilized seeds. The stamen holds pollen, which oval needs. An unfertilized oval will not ever grow, but pollen will fix that and beads play a role. Bees make honey. To make honey, bees need to get the nectar from flowers. They fly and they gather this, that sweet stuff for hours. The pollen sticks onto their bodies and legs so much that it falls off and reaches the eggs. An oval that's fertilized becomes a seed. Around it grows fruit upon which we feed. So when we say fruit, just what do we mean? We mean olives and nuts and grains and plantains and tangerines and apples and oranges, pineapples too. All kinds of healthy plant foods for you. Not all plants, us, plants give us seeds. All, not all plants with seeds give us edible fruit. Some plants have seeds that look weird or look cute. Burr seeds are hitchhikers that ride on your clothes. And dandelion seeds sometimes fly up your nose. Some seeds come in pods that explode like a sneeze. Other seeds may have wings and can fly on a breeze. So whether they stick or they blow or they fly, seeds bring us life. And now you know why. That's all.